guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to cut and distress your own jeans into shorts. Fish! <laughs> okay, so um, a little thrift hack I have for you. Definitely, if you don't have a pair of jeans that you're already thinking about cutting, take a trip to your local Goodwill, Salvation Army, Savers, whatever you have near you, go check it out. Another little tip that I have for you, if you're like a size double zero to maybe like two, four, well, I don't really know how how high they go, um, but you can always check out the boys section of Salvation Army. Little boys like children's pants. Now sizes will be a little weird from what I've found. A size 12 in boys is like a double zero, 14 zero, um, but like most jeans that you thrift, you really do just need to try them on. Um, you can definitely find some in like the women's section. Again, try not to focus too much on the size though, but look at them and be like, oh, these might fit. You're gonna need to take them in. You're gonna need to try a lot on to find that perfect fit, but it'll be totally worth it when you're paying like $5 as opposed to 40 for a brand new pair of like distressed shorts. So I'm just saying, it just takes a little bit of work to find the perfect pair. Um, I'm gonna go into the video where I show you how to do it and then I'm gonna do a little uh, after video I'll show you what they look like once they're cut. Um, I'm actually wearing a pair right now I love them and when you go get them from like the boys section if you can get them for like five dollars Why not right? I've got so many shorts. I'm so ready for the summer I need to do a huge shout out to my friend Kate right now. She's studying abroad in Italy but if you get a chance to see this, she is the one that gave me the life hack of checking out the boys section for a pair of Levi's. Um, so I need to give that credit to her because, man, I am getting these nice shorts on a budget. Take a look, see which method you prefer. And when it's all said and done, if you want to find me here on Instagram at keepsake underscore treasures, um, I would love to see what you come up with. Or you can always check out my Poshmark, which is down below always. And I typically have a few in my store there. So hope you guys enjoy. And yes, please share those shorts with me. So typically you can find shorts at the thrift store for about five to six dollars, which is great. Um, so I picked up some and you're just gonna start by laying them flat and making sure you take those pockets and flip them inside out so you don't cut them. Uh, my general rule of thumb is you wanna me measure from the center right there and you wanna go down about three inches. Now, if you want to be able to fold them once, you would add another inch, making it four inches, or if you wanna be able to roll the jeans twice, you would add two inches. Uh, once you have your desired length, you just mark it off with some chalk and then you're gonna go ahead and cut down the side. Now, you want to cut it on an angle so that um, the jeans are just a little more flattering when they're turned into shorts. I always like, once I cut one side, to fold it in half and make sure they're generally even. From there, I move into distressing the jeans, and on this pair, all I'm gonna do is cut a few little slits, and you can kind of rough them up uh, with the scissors if you'd like, but all you have to do is add a few slits. You can add as many or as little as you want with your scissors, and um, you'll see how it gets distressed in a minute. Again, you wanna make sure you're not cutting into the pocket lining, though. and I continue the same process on the back of the shorts. And once you have the amount of slits that you want in the jeans, all you're gonna do is throw them in the wash, throw them in the dryer, and they'll distress themselves. Now with this next pair of jeans, I do the exact same process, except I mark it only one inch, so it has one fold instead of two, and you'll see the difference that that has at the very end. I decided to distress these jeans in the same way just because it's so easy. All you have to do is add a few slits. Um, these ones I made a little bigger than the last one, uh, but it's just so easy. 
Now this next process is a little different. You're going to start by cutting two slits that are completely um, horizontal to each other. And then you're going to take a pair of tweezers and you're going to pull down on the blue threads. You want to leave all the white threads in there. This gives it a lot more of a distressed look and it's a lot more detail to the shorts when they're finished, but it takes a lot longer um, and it's a lot more detailed. So I wanted to show you a few different ways to do it and you'll see at the end how they look a little different. Um, the first way was definitely a lot easier and this one's a bit more time consuming and chances are you'll need your glasses. <laughs> done this is what they'll look like that first pair is the one that I used the tweezers on this second pair is the one that I didn't roll and the last one is the one that I rolled twice they all have a very unique look I really like the look of all of them it just kind of comes down to personal preference and how much time you really want to spend on each pair <laughs> you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope that your jeans turned out great again please feel free to share them with me if you're new here go ahead and subscribe if you're a frequent visitor thank you so much for supporting me um, let me know maybe some other DIYs type videos you'd like to see in the comments down below give it a like if you want to see more DIYs I'm doing my best guys I'm doing my best to try and post a fry DIY every Friday clearly <laughs> I've been slacking a little bit but I'm Ah, but I'm really trying to get in the habit of doing that. So, um, let me know which fry DIY is your favorite and enjoy your weekend! Hey!